morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our first art video. Um, this week we are going to talk about rainbows, and that is why I wore my rainbow tie-dye t-shirt. Second and third graders, I'm hoping that you can identify the artist from this t-shirt. We've talked about him before. Second graders, we've just finished a project about him. Can anyone tell me the name of the artist? I'll wait. You can shout it out. Uh, I, yep, I heard someone say it, Keith Herring. Keith Herring is the artist who did this t-shirt, and you can buy this t-shirt at Target. That's where I found it anyway. So like I said, today we're talking all about rainbows. So we are going to do something called a found object color wheel, where you're going to collect objects from around your house to make your own color wheel. And then as a little bonus project, then we're going to be drawing rainbows. So I wanted to start by reading this book called My Color is Rainbow. It's really cute. It's um, a story for young readers. So just think of it as a cute little story about a rainbow. Okay, so I'll read it to you. Little White Arch looked white, but he knew he was more than the color white. He wondered, could I become another color? Little White Arch dreamed of the possibilities. We're red. Won't you fall in love with us? Little White Arch loved the idea of being loving. He could become red. We're friendly and orange. Come play with us. Little White Arch was delighted to play with his new friends. He could become orange. We're yellow and skippity hoppity happy to see you. Little White Arch couldn't help but do a little dance. He could become yellow. We're green. Let's dig our hands in the dirt. Little White Arch cared about nature and helping the earth. He could become green. We're blue and as calm as the still ocean. Won't you take a snooze with us? Little White Arch realized he needed a peaceful moment from his adventures. He could become blue. We're purple and here to celebrate our majestic color. Won't you join our party? Little White Arch felt special living it up. He could become purple. Little White Arch pondered what color to be. He could become red and loving, orange and friendly, yellow and happy, green and helpful, blue and peaceful, purple and majestic, or he could become all the colors. I found my color. My color is rainbow. So I thought that was a great inspiration for us this week because we are going to go over the colors of the rainbow and we're going to make our own with objects that you find around your house. So we saw in the story that there are six main colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, also called violet. Now, first, second, and third graders, we've all talked about the differences and the different kinds of colors. So we know our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Our secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. And our tertiary colors are those colors in between the primaries and secondaries. So red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, violet, and red, violet. So the first thing that I want you to do is start collecting objects from all around your house of the different colors from the rainbow. So I want you to look for things that are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And if you find the tertiary colors, those are like a bonus. So that would be extra special if you found the tertiary colors. You have to find at least one object of every color, but feel free to go crazy and collect as many objects as you could find. So I did this from around my house. So now I'm gonna show you my color wheel. Well, I'm gonna put it together now. So I'll start by picking one of each color. So 
So here I have one red object, one orange, one yellow, one green, one blue, and one purple. I want to make my color wheel a lot bigger, so I'm going to find even more objects to include. You can tell that I'm finding a lot of food to incorporate in my color wheel. You can use art supplies. This tennis ball has kind of a yellow-green tint, so I'm going to put it between yellow and green. Same with this yellow-green ball. Your color wheel doesn't have to be neat, it just has to show all the different colors that you found. This water bottle is kind of like a blue-green color, so I'm going to put it between blue and green. Last but not least is purple. So here are some objects that are more blue, violet, and then here are some that are more red, violet. So I'll put those next to red. So here is my found object color wheel. Um, I'm going to post a picture of my finished color wheel on our lesson, on our specials menu, so you can see what all the colors look like when they're all together. It's really cool to make a rainbow out of things that you find around your house. Now, if you are a second grader or a third grader that really wants to challenge yourself, try also taking pictures of things that are just primary colors. So setting up a section of red, a section of yellow, and a section of blue. Those make up the primary colors. Or if you really want, you could do the secondary colors. So picking only orange, green, and purple. Now, if you wanna go above and beyond, you could even make a color wheel out of just the tertiary colors. So if I were picking the tertiary colors out of the objects that I have here, I would start with something that's red-orange. So I would say this Dorito bag has a red-orange tint. I would say this sunscreen bottle looks more yellow-orange. Um, let's look for something yellow-green. I think I'm gonna pick this ball as something that's yellow-green. This water bottle is a great example of something that's blue-green. And then I would say this scotch tape would be a great example of blue-violet because there's more blue in this shade of purple. And then Millie's dog treats. These are more red-violet. So I'm going to put that with those. Now I'm also going to post pictures of each of the color wheels with the tertiary colors, primary and secondary. So if you want to send me those, that would be awesome and I really look forward to seeing them. So once you assemble your color wheel all together, have you or your parent take a picture of it and email it to me or you can send it to me on Blooms. So that's your week four assignment today. So you're going to take a picture of your color wheel and email it to me. My email is a Seacrest, so a s e a c h r i s t at o f c s dot net. So I cannot wait to see all of the color wheels that you create. Now stay tuned for a bonus project for this week. Hi, boys and girls. Okay, so for today you have a bonus project, and a bonus project would be making a rainbow to hang in your window for your neighborhood to see when people are walking around. Uh, shout out to Nora in Mrs. Rivera's class who already did this in her neighborhood. I was like, wow, you are so ahead of the curve. So you don't have to do this, but it is a fun activity, and who doesn't love rainbows? You know I love rainbows. So for today, you can use any materials that you have at home. So markers, crayons, colored pencils, Play-Doh. Um, Play-Doh would be a little tricky, but I can see you getting very creative with that. 
Um, paint, if you have paint, use whatever you have lying around or do a combination of all of those things. Again, you don't have to do this part of the assignment, just the found object color wheel is what you have to do. So as a bonus, I'm gonna do my rainbow now. So I'm gonna use markers and crayons and you can see my dog got a little hungry and she started eating my red marker. So I'm gonna start with red because that's the first color in the rainbow. So I'm gonna make a big hill with red. So what I'm gonna do is one stripe of each color, and then I'm going to color it in between with crayons. So I have red. Can you guys see Millie? Millie's back here. She's trying to be in the video because she really wants your attention. <laughs> but um, she's goofy. I'm calling her our little class pet now that we're all at home. And she's in my home, and she's my pet. So, so Millie is our little class pet, right? OK, so here's green. And then blue and purple. Now don't forget, nothing has to be perfect. I want you to do your best on this assignment. So it's just a rainbow. It's just for fun. You can do it in any way that you want. And I really encourage you to be creative in the ways that you draw or you color your rainbow. So now that I have my marker, now I'm gonna start coloring it in. So I have to start by finding a red crayon. This one's called Bittersweet. That is not red. That is like a brown color. What about this one? <gasps> red. Okay, so I'm gonna start by coloring it in. I have to say, I've been doing a lot of art since I've been home. Um, it's something that relaxes me, so when I feel stressed out, I try to draw in my sketchbook, or I've even thought about maybe start starting to paint again. A lot of you saw the painting that I did for my husband for Christmas. I did a painting of my dog, Millie. So I was thinking about maybe starting to do more paintings, but I've been drawing in my sketchbook every day, I've been doing a lot of drawings of my dog. Um, sometimes I draw things that are just lying around my house, like my husband's PlayStation controller, or what else did I draw? I think I drew a bottle of water once. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can draw anything that's lying around. Okay, now I need an orange color. Hmm, this is red-orange. I could use that, but it's a tertiary. I just want to stick to the primaries and secondaries for this project. Ooh, macaroni and cheese. That one makes me hungry. I think, oh, here it is. Yes. Oh, goodbye, little book. So now I'm going to color with my orange. Just taking my time, filling in the white spots. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to brighten up your neighborhood. Now this was actually started in Italy a few weeks ago when coronavirus was going around Italy pretty bad and people would hang rainbows in their windows for people going down the street to brighten their day. And it's really caught on all around the world. So I know of a lot of people who have been counting the rainbows that they see hanging oh. <laughs> The tip of my crayon just fell off. No biggie. I'll just peel my crayon a little bit and I will use this end. So anyway, when people walk around their neighborhood, they have been counting the rainbows that they see in people's windows. And I think that's a really cool way to brighten up your community and spread positive messages. So I want you to think about what kind of positive message you can include on your poster. It really can be anything. Um, a lot of people are writing all is well, or be well, or stay positive. I think all of those are great ideas. So think about something that makes you happy and you can share that message with your neighborhood or other people in your building. So here's my green. Now I need a blue. And really, you guys, any shade would be good for this rainbow because it's yours. You can make it your own. I'm going to go with regular old blue for this one. 
even though cerulean is my favorite shade. That's the one that looks blue green. All right, last one is purple. Hmm, blue violet. I don't want to use that one. What about? No, I keep picking up blue ones. <gasps> Perfect. Violet, purple. Now, if you want to get real creative, you could add some clouds to your picture. So maybe I'll use this black crayon to add some puffy clouds under each side of my rainbow. You don't have to. That's just an extra activity. You could also add a sun, maybe a moon. Be creative. Okay, so now it's time for my positive message. What do I want to say to my neighborhood that would brighten up their spirits. How about stay positive? There's a creative message. Okay, I'm gonna write this in rainbow colored letters. My markers keep rolling away. So each letter will be a different color. I really love all of the artworks that you guys have been sending me so far. And I liked being on the morning show the other day. That was really, really fun. I wish I could see you guys in person. I miss you so much. I was just in the art room last week and I got a bunch of art supplies to bring home for us um, to work on for at home art projects. So each week we are going to be doing something different. Today we're doing the found object color wheel. Next week it'll be spring break, so you'll have a little bit of a break from the work. And the week after that we're going to do a brand new project. And it's all going to be with things that you have around your house. Stay positive. So here is my finished rainbow and I'm going to hang this in my front window for my neighborhood to see. Um, I challenge you to count how many rainbows you see the next time you walk around your neighborhood and I hope you see more and more every time you take a walk. So thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget that we will have a Google Hangout every Thursday. So from 12 to 1230 I'll be meeting with first graders. 1 to 130 I'll be meeting with second grade and then 2 to 2.30, I'll be meeting with third grade. So I cannot wait to see you. I will be telling you some parts of our project in the Google Hangout, but you don't have to participate unless you just want to see me. I know I want to see you, so I hope to see you on Thursday on Google Hangout. The link to that is in the specials menu. So I hope you guys have a great week, and I hope to see you soon.